Karen Bryant's with us here on this Wednesday. Karen, how you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me, guys. I don't think you expected the amount of attention that you've gotten out of this video. No, certainly not. I mean, you know, I, it started out as just a regular post-fight interview, and I thought it was funny and people would be amused uh, by Rampage. I didn't expect it to come under fire as much as it had. Certainly not. So your reaction in general was, hey, this is okay. I was okay with it. I wasn't intimidated. I wasn't uncomfortable. Yeah, no, I mean, I thought it was funny. I, I mean, you know, we'd been sort of goofing around all week during, you know, diff- different stuff, and um, I took it playfully for what it was. I never felt – he didn't really even touch me, so it's not like he actually got into my – uh, uh, you know, got physical with me or anything. And we were laughing about it. I mean, it's a guy, he just won, he's celebrating getting loose, and I took it as a joke, and I was never for a second worried about my, um, you know, that he, he was going to do anything untoward or that I was going to be in a weird situation because I'm certainly the type, if anybody has seen my show or my videos or anything like that, they know that I'm the type who definitely speaks what's on her mind and calls people on their BS and busts people for stuff, so... If he had done something I didn't like, we would all know it. So what do you say to the people who are outraged by this, uh, or maybe that's too strong a word, but are having a problem with what he did here? Yeah. Well, certainly I understand the point that, you know, a woman shouldn't be put in a position to feel uncomfortable when she's interviewing a male athlete. I totally understand that. But I think that we're supposed to be allowed to set our own parameters and boundaries and what those are. And my comfort level might be very different from another woman. Doesn't make me right and her wrong or vice versa. Um, I understand that, you know, they, I understand when people say, hey, you know, an athlete shouldn't, you know, cross this line and, and, and be sexually suggestive because, you know, the person is just trying to do their job and find out about, you know, the, the, the game or whatever. Um, but in the case of somebody like Rampage, we all know Rampage loves to bust and j- do jokes, and that's why everybody lines up to interview him, because everybody wants those funny, crazy sound bites from him, because people enjoy them. And so, you, you know, the, what has made that guy so popular is also, I guess, what makes him, quote-unquote, dangerous in an interview sometimes. Mm-hmm. Karen Bryant with us, uh, interviewed Rampage Jackson after UFC 130. The video blew up as a... Uh... It turned into Rampage kind of playfully hitting on uh, on Karen and then uh, yeah. faking motorboating her. Uh, and he yeah. got real close, and he did he did hug you. I have an interview with Rampage in the past where yeah. he actually knocked me in the nuts. But I will tell I you, I will tell you, yeah, it's funny you're laughing. Huh? I wasn't laughing then. I was uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm sure I, I had that I had that woozy feeling. But uh, I liked it. But I was also right. busting I was also busting his chops, and I think my setup right. was like, hey, why are you? Because they play bag tag. He and his buddies, and I was right. like, why are you grabbing guys? And he was like, eh, it's not really. A grab, the but, difference the, between grabbing, right? But, but, but Karen, there's still a small part of me, and maybe this is the uh, I don't I, I don't know sexist is a bad word, but I'm just gonna yeah. say maybe this is the sexist part of me, or maybe uh, I believe chivalry isn't dead. You know what? Doing something to a guy, one of the fighters doing that to a guy, is just different than with right. a female. That's the thing is, you know, we're you know, there's so many points to this yeah. that I don't think that we should all be treated so preciously. I mean, the, pro- the I have a couple of issues because now I feel like there are certain, you know, female reporters who are offended by this and who completely are entitled to be so. But now it's like there's this unwritten rule that I was supposed to really be offended because I'm a female journalist. And, you know, there's rules and, you know, I'm not supposed to be okay with that because we women have fought real hard to get into the locker room. And if, you know, if you stop for a minute to be okay with that kind of joke. Well, now you're bringing us all down, and I, ju- I just don't think that's fair, you know. Um, so, hey, Karen, let me cut in. So you don't feel as kind of one of the uh, the leaders now on the, the female front, uh, especially mm-hmm. with the fight sports, that maybe you did need to take a stand to represent everyone else because maybe this sets a bad precedent. Just, throw, just throwing instance, it out no, there. I, I, I didn't feel like I needed to to to, to stand up for every other woman. I okay. think there's a lot of women that – are doing that and and have done that and again he didn't touch me if he had done to me what the, he had done to the cage potato girl it'd be a different story because describe uh, for him. for the casual audience who haven't seen oh, that okay describe well in that he one did. he sort of he sort of you know for he he grabbed her hips and pulls her into him repeatedly let's just put it that way he was humping her um yeah and she continues to do the interview um because and then later says you know she was uncomfortable and da da da. So if that had happened to me, if he'd actually touched me and been doing stuff to me, then I, I would have I would have punched him, need him, you know, whatever, said, hey, dude, not cool. I mean, but like I said, I, I personally am the type that would have said something in the moment. Um, but 
it's a really difficult position because, you know, you say one thing, as a woman now, I'm supposed to, yeah, I'm supposed other women, I think, are supposed to are making it out that I'm supposed to be re- really mad, and yeah. I just can't be. I'm just not. Um, yeah, that, that's what I was going to ask you: was Are you getting pressure from women? Yes. Groups? Oh, certainly. Really? And and it's it's really odd because I, I don't try to speak for other women and stuff like that. And for fear of this being now like you know opening the floodgates for me to just get you know truly assaulted in an interview, I, I hope that doesn't really happen. But in this case. I thought it was a playful joke. He never touched me, and I was okay with it. But I, just on the press that has been going on about this and, and articles in which actually nobody's called me or quoted me other than Lokik, who I spoke with, and we did this you know, interview, and he actually asked my opinion on things. Mm-hmm. There's been a lot of speculation on what I think and how I should have reacted and from other women, and I should have done this, and she's probably horrified and just ran away. Well, no, I really wasn't. I really was okay with it. No, we could see it on camera, and if you know what, if uh, and it wasn't a live situation. If you wanted to yeah. cut it and, Wait, and, and edit it, you could have done that. Well, exactly, and that's the whole thing. Is like, or if I was truly offended or whatever, you put that out, and then you sue them for whatever. Or like you just said, you don't show it if you feel like you're uncomfortable with it. I thought it was funny. You know, I, 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 I it's really, it's a really odd position to be in because I don't. Um, I, I, you know, I don't want to draw the fire of other female reporters because certainly some awful things have happened to them, and that's not fair, and it's not okay. And by me saying this interview is okay, just certainly not condone it for everybody in every situation. But in this case, I don't think it was a big deal. Karen Bryant's with us. Karen has worked for uh, Showtime. She's covered fight sports, all sports for a long time. She did an interview the other day after UFC 130 with Quentin Jackson where he, you know, he, I, I think for many he, he crossed the line. It was a joking situation. It's a, it's a fine line. See, here's my, here's my issue in these cases because it all goes back to, for me to the struggle and I think the lack of comfort that uh, female reporters feel going into these right. male environments because even, Karen, no matter what you say in this case, there are always going to, going to be fans, and unfortunately, the MMA fan base is a has a lot of young, immature, dumb fans. Yeah. I believe, and no matter what you do in this, you don't belong. That that becomes the theme again. That all right. of you don't belong covering a man's sport. Right. Well, no, certainly a lot of people say that. Yeah, you you know the women aren't supposed to be there anyway, and you know. But guess what, Steve? And you you know you and I had this conversation the other day. I haven't done Playboy spreads. There are no pictures of me with a tramp stamp and a bikini doing whatever. I have done nothing but, but act in a credible manner throughout my career, and, and I've had some great jobs at some very, you know, uh, well-respected places. And so it is kind of shocking to me that some people are saying in this, you know, in one fell swoop, you know, there goes all my credibility and all this stuff, and I'm bringing it down, and, yeah, and just proving that, you know, women shouldn't be doing this kind of thing. Well, I, you know, I, it, it's really... Uh, unbelievable to me. And, and people are also then saying, oh my God, she used the word homeboy. What the heck is, you know. That was actually, hey, Karen, that was another one. We got a text yesterday, <laughs> and someone's like, I lost all respect for her wow. as soon as right, she said right. homeboy. Homeboy. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Because to me, and I even, you know, put this out there in Twitter, so to me, a homeboy is like a regular guy, a regular, like, black dude, and yeah, maybe it's more of an urban guy or whatever, but I never got to finish that question, and I know I'm getting a lot of, uh, of heat for it. My question was, you know, how do the homeboys react to this? In that, is this growing as quickly as, you know, NBA, NFL, or the, are the homies, are the guys sitting around on Saturday night watching this as much as they are watching, you know, basketball or football? And I figured Rampage would probably have some interaction with black fans and would maybe hear about that and would have a little bit of perspective on it. So I never got to finish the question. So then people are like, oh, oh, oh what's she asking about homeboys? Katie Couric would never say homeboys. Well, I know she probably wouldn't, but I took license being a part quote unquote homeboy. And in that scenario of talking to Rampage, you're in a post fight thing. It's a looser sport. I think it's okay that it's a looser sport. Um, and I certainly never meant any, any, uh, uh, anything bad by that, and some people see it as a really pejorative term. I specifically don't, but I can't believe the reaction I got just for using the word homeboy. Let's close on this, because this is the topic I'm going to get into, aside from this female uh, reporter thing next hour. Um, who is your shooter? Um, my husband, actually, exactly. So he's standing right there the whole okay. time. So. Now, here's my thought on this. As a husband or boyfriend, you're watching a fighter <laughs> maybe go over the line with your wife or girlfriend there's two things to do here. 
Yeah. Some women I've gone out with, and yes, I've actually dated women. Yeah, nice, good I know, I know, I'm, I know, I know. It's, 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 <laughs> I know. In spite of the way I look, some women would, if you didn't step in and do something, would say, "Why didn't you do something?" Other women, right. more of them that that I've dated, would be like, "How dare you step in? Mm. This is my job. Mind right. your own business." How did your husband feel? He knew, I think, A, he knows that I can handle myself, and B, that, you know, all week long we have been joking with him. He would know, I would look at him, if I were truly in distress, I would look, and he would know it. But he, you know, he's standing right there. He knows nothing's really going to go down, and he trains MMA as himself. So a lot of guys he can take. He admitted after that one, Rampage would probably have the edge. <laughs> but, you know, in a lot of scenarios, um, you know, he'll be able to, to defend me quite well. But I'm certainly the type that would say, hey, back up. I can handle myself, you know, I can handle myself first and foremost. What a, hey, Karen, so, what if he had put down the camera and said, hey, whoa, 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 dude. I'd easy, have been so easy. mad. You would have been pissed. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> unless, I mean, uh, you know, unless I could film, then I'd have to grab it and work the camera. And all those things are for right-handed people, and I'm a lefty, and I can never work a goddamn camera. But anyway, but, um, no, it would have been, that to me would have been really unprofessional to, like, throw the camera down and start a fight or whatever. Like, right. you know. I think as long as the camera is rolling, yes, Rampage has done some things that have walked on the edge, but I have that safety of, hey, this is all on camera, and, you know, I'm going to just kind of put you down in a professional way and get you back into at least as much line as I can take, or I would walk away. And also, by, at the end of that clip, I didn't, people were like, oh, and then you bent over. I was picking up my purse <laughs> to walk away from oh the interview. Oh, my God. Someone like, said, what, yeah, you, were, like, you were showing off your rear end to him? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, and then you presented to him, like, you were so into, like, there's somebody put some quote, like, something about my body language, and she did this, and she did that, yeah. and then she showed and presented, I'm like, I was picking up my purse. Let me tell you, you know, the, to the critics out there, first of all, yeah. and I'm not on camera as much as you are, your experience, yeah. I'm not, it's, it's not like this automatic behavior, you don't know how you're going to react, you, you, you try to react naturally, it's not that easy, but again, this, right. this proves the point that, uh, like I said earlier, no matter what you do, Especially as a female sports reporter, you probably can't win. So it just comes, no, you know, unfortunately it's, uh, it's with true. fan with fans and critics, it comes with the territory, and you know that better than anybody. Sure, certainly, and you know, not for nothing. I mean, I've worked really hard, and when you you know when you look around the press room, there's not a lot of people that look like me. Mm-hmm. I've worked hard to get there. I think I'm doing a good job. I think I represent a different you know take on the sport and a and a different outlook. And um, I certainly would not throw it away. For something that I thought like this was going to bring me down, why, why would I have put it out or whatever? You know what I mean? It yeah. just doesn't. It just doesn't make any sense. And I've done a lot of live television on CNN and all these other places, and so I like to think I can handle myself um, when that situation comes up. But like you said, yeah, you're on camera. You don't know what's going to happen, and that's the whole thing. Rampage has that X factor, which is why he's so awesome to interview.